Adam Evan Schwartz with Rockwell Collins. You introduced today a brand new way for pilots to interact with the ProLine Fusion primary flight display, and it's all about the touch. That's right, that's right. The, th the theory here is touch what you want to change. You're touching right on the flight display. ProLine Fusion is uh, unique in the marketplace because we offer a head up and eyes forward interface, head up displays uh, across the board, as well as an interface that's concentrated on the primary displays and lets the pilots not only keep their eyes on the PFD and the MFD when they're flying in instruments, but also use hand-eye coordination to operate the system, program the flight plan by interacting directly with the map and configuring the displays with the information management content that they need to operate safely in the airspace. So what was it that caused Rockwell Collins to want to go in this direction? Sure. We're always looking at ways to simplify flying airplanes, simplify interacting with avionics, and certainly touchscreen displays in the consumer market, icon-based interfaces where they're interacting graphically, touching right on the device, having your eye and your hand in the same place. That's the way the world is going in terms of consumer devices. Having an emphasis on head up and eyes forward flying in our product lines to uh, keep uh, pilots' attention focused where it needs to be has led us to explore touching on the primary flight displays and, and bringing a new level of situational awareness and ease of use into the marketplace for business aircraft pilots, whether they're flying corporately as a crew or whether they're a single pilot operating their own business jet for their, uh, for their own entrepreneurial pursuits. How does it work in a turbulent environment? In a turbulent environment, we've done a lot of testing to ensure that it's very, very usable. Now, there's a level of chop where you're going to want to uh, go back to a uh, trusty physical device. It would, and in those cases, that works uh, exactly the same as the touchscreen. So you're doing the icons, the dragging and dropping, using a, a handheld device. But in turbulence, day in and day out, light chop, moderate chop, hold your hand on display. It's activated on release. And so uh, as we've shaken uh, this display in a, uh, a level D simulator with a variety of pilots on the night shift, uh, we found it to be very, very usable in, in, in both our anecdotes and in the measurements of uh, touchability and usability. So. So Adam, where are you with the certification process? When can pilots begin to expect to see this show up in the airplanes? This, in airplanes, you'll see it possibly next year, and you'll see it uh, probably certified in the 2013 timeframe is our current plan. That's what we're, we're running for. We're really looking forward to getting it in an airplane, getting it out there in the airspace, and getting the pilots who are here at AirVenture uh, some time flying it. So this is a first step today, and uh, we're pleased to be here and have the system at the show. And, in uh, future years, we'll see it here at AirVenture and Airplanes. Now, I'll assume that's FAA certification. You're looking at EASA and a couple of others as well, I guess? Yeah, it, our, our business profile has us certifying always FAA, but also uh, in conjunction with uh, EASA and authorities we have. ProLine Fusion going on a variety of business aircraft platforms, some from Brazil, one that's from Israel, uh, some in Canada, and some in Europe. So uh, we certified all over the place. Adam Evanschwartz, thanks very much for talking with us today. Thanks. We'll see you.